Hi everyone, so welcome to University 190L Demystifying Library Research. My name is Taya Atwood. I'm one of the librarians here at UMass and I will be your instructor for this course. Um, so I hope you all had a wonderful break and you're as excited as I am um, to talk a little bit more about doing library research. Um, so before I dive into the meat of our class, I thought I'd give you a quick primer about the format of our class. Um, I'm going to keep this as a se separate video, a separate little segment. Um, I think it's a really important part of our class, but I also want you to be able to go straight to our lecture materials when you need to and just have this for reference when you have to go back to it. So first, you signed up for this class, ideally recognizing that it is an online-only class. Um, it's also going to be asynchronous, meaning we don't have a designated time to meet each week, but stuff does happen every week. Um, I will also say it's a little bit of um, an artifact from when this was an in-person class, but this class is based off of meeting <laughs> every um, Wednesday. So that's when the start of a new week will occur is every Wednesday. So look for new materials each Wednesday. Um, each week is going to be formulated around a module. So each week will cover a topic. You'll have some stuff to do and it will start over the next week. I'll also try to post a couple of weeks in advance so you can kind of see what's up and coming. And of course, you have the syllabus to look back to as well. Um, each week, I'll have a short little lecture, hopefully between five to 10 minutes, um, 15 minutes tops for maybe really complicated things. But um, so I, I'll do a little bit of talking, but most of the time, I think, should be spent on you figuring out your research project. Process. I want this to be um, as hands-on as an online course can possibly be. Um, and then just so you know ahead of time, modules are going to be formulated as we'll have readings, we'll have that lecture, and then we'll have to-do. So just make sure you go through that and check that out. Um, I'm also trying as hard as I can to make sure I'm very clear and explicit in all of my statements. I want to make sure everything is clearly articulated for you, but I am bound to mess up. <laughs> so call me out on it. Um, if something isn't clear, please ask for clarity. Um, you have lots of ways to get in touch with me, and it really helps me know if I'm being unclear. Librarians can get kind of jargony, just like everyone <laughs> in, in every research discipline. Um, and we also do a lot of research on our own, so sometimes I might forget something, and I'm, or I might gloss over it, and you're like, Taya, what the heck are you talking about? please call me out on it. I'm more than happy to spend time explaining something um, that maybe I glossed over or that isn't ex extraordinarily clear. So again, if I'm unclear, help me help you. Let me know. I'm also extremely open to your feedback. Um, I'll have quick questions for you throughout the... Um, throughout the course um, about your progress. So this will help me understand how we're doing, um, how you're doing with the material, um, how I might, you know, or if I need to spend more time focusing on something. Um, so please be honest and transparent with that feedback. Let me know um, your thoughts. Um, and finally, I'll do my best. I'll try to post transcripts. Maybe I talk too fast or you think I said something um, but can't remember where. Um, or maybe you don't want to just try and watch a whole video. Um, I will have those transcripts for you. All right. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I'll, I'll see you in class.